Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day and welcome back to my FSD Across America series. Uh, episode 8 is going to be the second episode in Maine. This time we're in Portland, Maine and I've queued up a little eight minute ride across town and I've purposely tried to get through the most complicated part of town that it would let me. So let's see if we can do it with our intervention. We're on 10.5 and we're starting out out here on the west end. So a lot like San Francisco, uh, Portland has a highway on one side and then it has kind of a faster local road on the other side. And so any longer rides that you try to navigate are take you onto those, either the highway or that fast, um, that fast road. And I've tried to circumvent that as best as possible because I want to go through the busy trafficy area. Um, so I think I found a nice route that does that. It's not a very twist, twisty route. There's not a lot of twist, you know, turns and corners. Um, but we're going through the, the busiest part of the largest city in the state of Maine um, at 11.15 in the morning on a Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes. So one of my biggest gripes with the first half of the series is I was basically filming out in the middle of nowhere on, on you know, big square county roads, no traffic. It might have been early in the morning, late at night or whatever. Um, and so I'm going to try a lot harder to film much more interesting areas for the second half. I have a lot more time on the trip back. Also, I've changed the system to, um, to assertive on the driver profile, and I seem to be liking that a bit better. Um, okay, so we got our first right-hand turn here. We got some traffic. There's a couple pedestrians. And yeah, I'm gonna turn it off there, guys, just because these guys are trying to cross, and the car was gonna roll out and get in their way when there's no reason with all the traffic. So we didn't make it very far, did we? I can hear a an ambulance or something. Okay, yeah, there's a fire truck. So I'm, just, I'm gonna shut it off in case they want to turn, guys. gonna stop right here. I guess they're not turning, but... Look at that thing on the front. That is cool. Okay. Alright. Let's keep going, guys. It's a great barbecue place there. So in the last episode, we were in kind of the, near where I grew up, where a lot of my family is, um, down here. Um, so anyway, now we're two hours south in Portland, Maine. And this is an area where I worked as a young adult a lot. So I really got started in my career in this area. The, the biggest city in the state of Maine, but it's only about 75,000, I think, the last I knew. Um, and, but there are several, um, I want the left lane up there, there are several other good-sized cities um, nearby Portland. There's South Portland and Scarborough and Free and I, I forget the rest of them, guys. Okay, confused there, but looks like it's gonna do all right. And yep, okay. Yeah, definitely a lot more interesting stuff here than whatever I've been filming before, guys. I actually thought originally it had us staying on that street back there the whole time, but I wonder if it's navigating around traffic. I did want it to take that street, but this is probably a quicker route. Which, ironically, for our purposes, I don't want the quickest route, but whatever. <laughs> Just gonna give it the hurry up here because there's a Lexus behind us. Which 
still having the slow leak on my tire, but I have an appointment tomorrow to get that taken care of. Hope I can finally get rid of that message. I do pump it up every day, but the system, it, it leaves the message on there even after you've pumped it up. So I think where we've had a intervention, maybe I should like take a right here and, and mess with the system a little, um, just to get some some bit better footage. Yeah, I think I'll do that, guys. So I'll just take take a right here, and we can see it reroute and whatnot. So I'm just gonna take over and do a right turn. the one way. And back on FSD, we have someone crossing the road up there. Okay, slowing down nicely. Very good. Okay, let's speed back up. I didn't put my sunglasses on, guys, so I'm a little blind. Okay, we want to go around the truck. Looks like... Oh, changed its mind. I think either lane is fine here. Now it's blinker on, which it doesn't need. It's actually considered a straight. I quite love Portland, guys. It's quite a nice, um, quite a nice city. Um, if you ever get a chance to come visit, it's, I guess it's famous for like, um, seafood and stuff, because it's a, a port town. It's got his left blinker on and we're two lanes away from the left lane, so it's because it thinks it's a left turn there, but we're not actually trying to turn left, so a little frustrating. It's actually a straight. And it just means left here. Which I do have California plates, so hopefully they'll make a break. Okay, we are finally going left. I don't know if that's why it had the left blinker on or or not, perhaps. I expect it'll get in this lane here. Okay, it's gonna go left from the wrong. I'm gonna take over there, guys. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna turn from the wrong lane, guys. Not for testing purposes. So this is good. I, I, I've done a bunch of, you know, intervention free. Let's see if it can get in this lane, guys. Nope, same thing. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change lanes. I'm not gonna turn from the incorrect lane. Um, so I've done a lot of intervention free trips in like Indiana and, and even rural, rural Maine and El, I think maybe Illinois or something like that, where it's just, big old county roads with no traffic or anything. I do apologize about that, so I wanna make sure we get on these better roads, but you're seeing already a much harder situation. Which is great, because I, I, you can't find that in San Francisco, even on the whole peninsula. Um, so, that's really helpful for me. Okay, let's see how it does. Kind of a weird intersection, but not too bad. Very good. Yeah. yeah, it's turning into a better ride, guys. What are we up to? Four interventions or something? Okay, we want the left, the, uh, we wanted that lane to go straight. And it intends to go straight here from the wrong lane, which, again, I'm not going to let it do that, guys. Um, so I'm going to take over. Well, yeah. gonna take over guys I did post a short where it did the same thing um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take over now guys and put my blinker on I did post a short where it did the exact same thing and thankfully that time there was no one around so I was able to let the system continue but I'm not gonna do it here guys it's too trafficy and stuff 
try get back on. Getting quite the tour of Portland here, guys. Sheesh. At this rate, we're never going to make it. <laughs> I'm glad, though, because it was originally only going to be an eight-minute drive, so this is kind of pumped up the, the ride time and interest a bit better. And we're going back through the complicated area, so we should turn here. Yep. Quite aggressive turn ins, I've noticed, uh, as it changes lanes. It's kind of uncomfortable, but I'm thinking they did that on purpose because they are they had trouble merging and changing lanes and stuff, and now it's like, when it's decided to change lanes, it just goes. So this concrete building here on, on the left, the Cross Insurance Arena, that's where I marched for my university graduation. So I went to university around here. And yeah, it looks like we're we're getting towards our destination, guys. Quite, quite the eventful ride. Oh man, that was good. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know how you think it compares to performance versus episodes six and seven, the, the rural areas. Really all of my videos for the series so far have been in quite rural areas, Utah, Nevada. I gotta make sure to, to get into the cities. Okay, we're breaking real hard there, but, um, well, not that hard. But again, it's getting in the wrong lane, guys. Look at this. This is a, like, Endemic, it can read that it's a right-only lane, but it still wants to go straight, guys. What is going on there? What do you guys think? This is ridiculous. I mean, it was clear as day. That one next to us is straight and left. It's only got the left rendered. And you know what, guys? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take over again. This is ridiculous. This is this is crazy, guys. This is just craziness. I can't believe it. I don't, I don't know, guys. I mean, you can read what kind of lane it is. It's like, are we doing opposite lanes here in Maine? Like, perhaps normally the, the, le the right lane goes straight in most other states and vice versa, but I don't think so. This is the old port of Portland. It's a great, you know, nightlife, bars and music venues and stuff like that kind of place. Um, yeah, I definitely, definitely love it here. Okay, guess they're not interested in going. Okay, now we're gonna go left. For some reason we've gotten way out to the right to the point where we're like blocking everyone else. Okay, good job car. And watch out for that stuff. And I'm just gonna slow it down just cause of the crowdedness. But it's doing fine. Gosh, so many lane mistakes, guys. What do you think? So weird. This is gonna be a long video. All right, one more turn and we'll be there, guys. I hope you hope you enjoyed. A little bit harder in Portland than than Bangor, huh? Come on, oh jeez, sorry guys. I just wasn't turning the wheel. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed. I'll stay tuned for more uh, more episodes in my FSD Across America series, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Thank you.